Hey everyone, BNSF9382 here with an update on the ethanol facility that I've been working on. In the last video I said I would mention some of the paints and stuff that I've been using on these kits. Uh, for the concrete grain uh, bins and elevator, uh, these are pretty much the items I used. This Plastruct weld. I did use some of this modeling putty. Uh, real nice to work with. It uh, sands real nice to fill in gaps and stuff. Testers Model Master Signal Red. Testers Model Master Steel. The steel is what I used for the elevator itself. Sky gray is what I have been using for all of the roofs. Uh, the roof on the concrete storage bin is painted with this sky gray. And then this is Tester's Model Master con flat concrete. That's uh, the color I've been using on pretty much everything. Uh, with that said, I wanted to give a little update on the this area of the of the build as you recall this is basically two kits you get the four uh, bins with the storage building and then separately you buy the accessory kit that uh, puts all the items together so for the longest time I didn't have this completely assembled it was a bunch of separate pieces so now um, I do have this totally completed as one kit, one piece. So basically I just glued everything to a piece of styrene and then uh, painted it basically to match everything else with the uh, concrete paint. So that's it. This is all one piece now. There's a bunch of little accessory pieces that came with the silo kit. And i uh, kind of slowly been working on these. Uh, there's a bunch of extra pipes for transferring grain. And I've, along with this build, I've been doing a little bit of research. Uh, it seems that, <laughs> I mean, Walther's or, or the companies or whatever build these kits and market them, don't necessarily tell you much about them and how they all fit together. So I have done a little bit of research online and I found a pretty good website that talks about ethanol plants. These are just a couple of the pictures that I found that I printed off. And uh, you can see the big concrete storage grain bins, the unloading facility, the fermentation tanks, and how this is all laid out with storage tanks. So you've got, you know, corn coming in and ethanol biofuels going out via tank car. So this kind of gives you a, a layout of how these plants uh, across the country might be laid out. So with that being said, uh, while I was searching for pictures, I found this website, biofuelsjournal.org, uh, I think they're .com. If you go to this website, you can uh, scroll down here on this column, and it says aerial pictures. So this lists. Uh, 10 or 12, however many, 15, 20 different ethanol plants. And it gives some pretty good details of the plant itself. And uh, sorry if this is not coming out. But uh, we'll click on this one here, West Burlington, Iowa. I don't know if this is going to come up. But it brings up some really good pictures of the plant itself, the actual plant the details. But anyway, 
biofuelsjournal.com is the site. So, again, I don't think I have, well, I know I don't have enough space to model this exactly as a prototype, but um, it does kind of give you an idea of how things all connect together and work together. So, anyway, just wanted to show you that. Again, it's biofuelsjournal.com with uh, a bunch of pictures and, and details and uh, diagrams and explanations on how biofuel uh, basically is made and processed. But, um, again, some really good pictures that uh, show you the conveyors and the elevators and how they move grain around and how they process it. So very interesting. I uh, hope to use some of these um, ideas and, and how, when I finally get to placing the ethanol plant on the layout as far as rail service and you know grain coming in and ethanol leaving the plant. So anyway, um, just another quick overview of the items that I have so far for the ethanol plant. Again, I did order uh, another piece to this puzzle. We'll be here uh, next week sometime. And I hope to get working on that. And uh, well, I ordered one of the big pieces to the puzzle and a couple of smaller pieces that uh, will fit into here somewhere. So anyway, this is kind of an update on the Walther's HO scale ethanol plant. So let me know if you have any questions or comments and hope everybody had a good new year and be safe and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe uh, if you haven't done so already. Thank you. BNSF 9382 out.